Hey friends, Ryan Lestranger with the Monday Word, and my Monday Word for you is release songs of deliverance. Uh, we are in a time in the world where we're seeing unprecedented crisis, and with crisis, oftentimes comes fear, comes anxiety, comes uh, you know people looking to in every direction for their help. But the psalmist tells us that we're to lift up our eyes and we're to place them on the Lord from whence our help comes. And I love this scripture in Psalms 32, 7, because the Lord was really speaking to me about this. It says, Thou art my hiding place. <clears throat> Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. You know, I don't think we think of this, but there are prophetic songs of deliverance. I believe this is an hour and a season that God wants to release worship sounds. And I want to stir up a prophetic anointing in the nations of the world that our intercessors begin to intercede with fervency and, and disconnect from what every bad report. We've got to be aware of what's going on, but we need to prophesy. We need to speak the mind of the Lord. We need to speak the will of God. We need our prophets to begin to decree what the heaven is saying to rise to another dimension outside of this earth realm, to be seated in Christ Jesus according to Ephesians 1.22 and to speak from that heavenly perspective. And then we need our psalmists and our minstrels and our worship leaders and we the people of God in general need to begin to release songs of deliverance. I believe it's an hour for the songwriter to arise, that new songs come forth, for the psalmist to begin to play the harp and to play the song of the Lord, to begin to release sounds that set captives free. And and it is a time for the church to come and hide in God and release songs of deliverance. This is the thing about faith. Faith says it before it ever sees it with its natural eyes. And music positions us in a posture of adoration and reverence for God. When we prophesy in song, we are declaring the end from the beginning. And that's what the spirit of prophecy does. So I say let the songs of deliverance arise. Let the minstrels arise. Let the psalmists arise. Let the people of God begin to lift their voice in worship. Let them lift up an unashamed praise. Lord, even as your children marched around Jericho and the impossible happened that day when the walls fell, I thank you, Lord, that we will sing songs of deliverance that you will inspire and release songs of adoration. And Lord, we hide in you as we sing your songs of deliverance. And I thank you that deliverance would break out across the nations of the world. You would redeem, bless, and sustain your people. In Jesus' name, amen.